and welcome to Interesting Talks with Footprints Counselling Service. I hope that your life is treating you well. We're entering into springtime and I always like to see it this time of year as it's hopeful with new po positive possibilities, a chance to make positive changes. But today's talk is on toxic people. We've all come across them at some point of our lives, but we may not have had the words to describe them accurately. I intend to give you an outline of how they operate and how you can take care of yourself whilst trying to deal with them. Do like, share and leave comments. I certainly will reply to them. And if you do leave comments, people will see them and learn from them. Signs of a toxic person. Or what is a toxic person? That should be the question. If you know someone who's difficult and causes a lot of conflict in your life, you may be dealing with a toxic person. These people can create lots of stresses and unpleasantness for you and others. Not to mention emotional or even possible physical pain. A toxic person is anyone whose behaviour adds negativity and upset to your life. Many times people who are toxic are certainly dealing with their own stresses and traumas. To do this, unfortunately, they act in ways that don't present them in the best light and usually upset others along the way. Toxicity in people isn't considered a mental disorder at the moment anyway, but there could be underlying mental health problems that cause someone to act in a toxic way, including one of them, personality disorder. Now here are some of the warning signs to watch out for if you think you're dealing with a toxic person. You feel like you're being manipulated into something that you don't want to do. Feeling manipulated into something you don't want to do. You're constantly confused by the person's behaviour. You don't know whether you're coming or going. You feel like you deserve an apology that never comes, so you're left hanging. You always have to defend yourself to this person, like trying to justify yourself all the time. You never fully feel comfortable around them. You actually kind of want to get out of their company. You continually feel bad about yourself in their presence. If you experience these feelings around someone, they may well be toxic. If you constantly have such emotions, you may want to change the relationship or stop the relationship entirely. Signs of a toxic person. Just like there are signs all around that toxic person, you can feel very, very uncomfortable at all times. There are signs to be seen in this person where they highlight their toxicity is most commonly seen, so I say, in their inconsistencies. They're likely to be seriously inconsistent. Okay, fair enough. Part of being human is having ups and downs, good times and bad times. But a toxic person is almost never consistent. Their behaviour is erratic. They don't follow through on their commitments or their promises. You never know what they're going to do next. Such inconsistency is very hard when you're trying to be there for someone. They can be elated with you one minute and right you off the next. They always need your attention. Have you ever noticed the person always needs something from you, whether it's constant phone calls, texts, or showing up at your door when they, when they need emotional support. And they're probably not being supportive to you in return. They take all that, they ha that, they, you, ha that you have to give about not giving much back. They have a heightened level of self-interest and need to showcase their own greatness to receive affirmation. This can be associated with narcissistic personality disorder, which we can say is a mental health disease. There's always drama and there's always drama around them. Now that's no coincidence. They inflame the emotions and create conflicts. They love stirring the pot to see what happens. I mean, can you imagine? People are often toxic because they're not interested in being in stable, healthy relationships. In personal ones and at work. They do not respect your boundaries. Another sign of a toxic person is they have no boundaries. So if you're being clear with someone time and time again about your needs and they just can't help themselves but to disrespect you, they're toxic. Healthy relationships are based on trust and the ability to respect boundaries. Toxic people just can't do this. They manipulate others for what they want and do you feel taken advantage?
advantage of or manipulated. Toxic people love to manipulate those around them to get what they want. This means lying, bending the truth, exaggerating or leaving out information so that you take a certain action or have a certain opinion of them. They'll do whatever it takes, even if it means hurting people. Another toxic behaviour is the abuse of substances, like drugs and alcohol. These behaviours become toxic when the person is continually harming other people, not to mention themselves. Now dealing with toxic people, which is obviously I'm sure what you want to hear, is like goes like this. Now that you know the signs of a toxic person, what will you do? How do you act? So here's some strategies that I think you could try. Confront them as soon as you notice the toxic behaviours. Confront the person. Call them out. Any lies, any inconsistencies, tell them you don't appreciate how they behave. This shows them that you are at least paying attention and you're giving them a chance to explain themselves or even apologise. Now, then you need to set strict boundaries. If you know a toxic person in your life, try to set stricter boundaries. For example, if someone is abusing substances, it causes them to harm themselves or others, let them know you won't see them unless they're sober or not using drugs. Make it clear you won't tolerate their overly dramatic behaviour or spreading rumours about people. Limit the time you spend with them until they can change. Cut them out of your life if the above strategies don't work and cause even more pain, abuse or dishonesty. It's time to let tox that toxic person go. Sometimes there's nothing to do but stand up for yourself and move on. Thank you for listening to this talk. I hope that you found the information interesting and helpful. Do share with friends, family, or even work colleagues. It may well help them understand what they may be dealing with. From a toxic boss, friend, or a partner. Until next week, take care of yourself. Try and stay positive. Bye for now.